Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Timo electric skateboard. The Timo board is a nice little electric skateboard with a similar shape and design to other boards in the same price range. So the board comes with everything you'd expect, a wall charger, a T-tool, and the remote. And speaking of the remote, it's a fairly standard one that you'll see used with a few boards, but it definitely gets the job done. You've got the power on the bottom, the throttle up top, and a reverse button along with some battery indicators on the front. So yeah, overall, it's nothing crazy, but it definitely works great. To charge this board from completely empty, it took me about two to two and a half hours, which seems pretty on par with other boards like this. And the remote, I didn't really have to charge because it seems like it lasts pretty long. So the board has dual hub motors in the back, which seem pretty nice and powerful to me, but I'll get into the whole speed test in a little bit. It's also got pretty fat wheels and some smooth trucks, which made the riding experience very smooth. Two things that I really liked about this board were how flexible it is. This added to the board feel and it made the turning feel extra responsive. And speaking of board feel, the other thing that I really liked was the shape and the concave of the deck. And with all these things put together, it makes standing on the board really comfortable. So now let's get to actually riding the board. So when you first get on, there's three different speed modes to choose from. High, medium, and low. Low mode is obviously great for beginners because it doesn't let you go too fast. Medium is good for just cruising around the streets when you're not really in too much of a hurry. And high mode is where you really start getting pretty fast, almost too fast sometimes. I recorded my top speed at going about 24 and a half miles per hour, which is pretty fast if you're just standing on a piece of wood. And I don't see ever needing to go faster than that, at least for my purposes. So like I mentioned before, with the flex of the deck and the concave and the trucks, the handling on this board is really great. You can turn pretty quickly and carve around corners if you need to, but it all feels really smooth. Acceleration on this board is nice and quick, and as you'd expect, it's faster in the higher mode. And conversely, the brakes are really smooth. There's no sudden stop like I've had problems with with other boards. Instead, they're nice and gradual, but sometimes I wish they were just a little stronger because when you're going on the fast mode, it can take you pretty far to actually stop. But at the same time, I understand that if you did have them stronger, then you'd probably just end up with that same problem of them being too abrupt. So some other little features of this board are that instead of having to bend down and turn the power on, you can actually just put the board down and start to roll it and it'll turn on automatically, which is actually pretty convenient to not have to bend over or pick up the board every time. And besides that, if your battery happens to die or you just feel like kicking around, this board is extremely easy to just manually push on. There's absolutely no resistance that I could feel and it just ends up feeling like a nice smooth longboard. And finally, this board has the ability to go in forward or reverse, which for me isn't really practical for riding, but I can see how it could be handy if your board kind of got away from you and you're trying to get it back. So I also did take this up a few steep hills. It's hard to tell in the video, but this is actually a relatively steep angle. But either way, it handled it really well. I did notice that when I got to some really steep parts, you could sort of feel the motor struggling, but it still managed to make it up despite being slowed down a little bit. So really quickly, I'm just gonna go over and sum up a few of the pros and cons. Some of the standout things that I really liked about this board were the concave of the deck, because it just made the riding experience, including turning and board feel, really enjoyable. I also really liked how fast the board is. There were plenty of times when I took it as fast as I could, and it just felt really good to have a board which goes as fast as it's advertised, unlike a few of the other ones that I've tried. And honestly, for the cons, there's not really much bad to say about this board. I mean, sure, the remote is pretty standard, or the brakes could use just a tiny tweak, but these are just personal preferences based off of this board and some of the other ones I've had. But overall, for a sub $400 board, I think that this thing is really great. Out of the five or six boards I've had so far, it's definitely my favorite, and I would definitely recommend it for beginner to intermediate electric skateboarders. So thank you to Timo Board for sending me this one to try out. And I just want to mention, because I saw someone say this somewhere, but I don't get paid for these board reviews. And if I did, I'd be disclosing that. These reviews are just straight up impressions and opinions of the boards. 
and me telling you how well they work for my needs. So anyway, as always, I'd like to thank my Patreon pledgers for being so awesome. And besides that, I'd like to thank you for watching, and you can like and subscribe if you want.